Hi, this is Caleb with Headhunter Smoke Shop. Today we're gonna go over a little bit of some vape products. Vaping has progressed insanely fast over the years. It originally started back in the 1960s roughly, which was just like a small concept to help smokers try to quit smoking. But in the 1980s is when it actually kind of started to get bigger. But roughly over the past, I'd say maybe five to six years, it's progressed insanely fast and the vaping industry is actually kind of one of the biggest industries going on right now. It's actually one of the biggest things that has slowed down cigarette smoking and helped people actually get off of smoking cigarettes to better your health or to pretty much just sit there and kick that nasty habit. So one of the one of the many methods of vaping is pod style portable disposable systems. And these basically run off of a salt nicotine. So it mimics the feel of a cigarette almost identically down to the T. Um, and they come in a variety of different brands, different flavors, different styles. As you can see, this one has kind of a tribal design. The other ones are kind of a little more bland, but yet they still help curb that nasty habit. Um, then from there, you can progress from disposables to a pod style system, say if you are just wanting to refill it instead of actually having to throw it away, buy a new one, you can actually keep the device and just buy a little pod. Um, and then just refill with this little juice right here, which is just a little disposable system that has a pod. And pretty much you can pull these little pods out and you just put a little tiny coil in here. And at that point, you'll prime your coil up, fill it up. And at that point, you just replace this little pod and coil instead of getting a whole nother device at the time. So you can go from back and forth of either using a little disposable device or you can use these little pod style systems that work great for actually mimicking the hit and the fill of a cigarette. So then from a step up from the salt nicotine pod systems and the disposable salt nicotines, you'd have the actual free base sub ohm juice devices. And this would be more of a beginner style kit. This would be more of an advanced style kit. This comes with an internal built-in battery, so it's a little less work, a little less hassle. This one is gonna have the external 18650s, which as you can see from the bottom, you pop it open and you would have to pop in your 18650s right here. And at that point, pop your door back shut and then your device would run just the same as this one. It's just a little more work, but it's better for more experienced users. Okay, so with the internal built-in batteries, those are gonna be, like I said, for more beginners, um, less experienced users, just because it's less work. But at the point of a built-in battery and a external battery, the two differences you're mainly gonna have is one's gonna have a lot less battery life because at the point of when you go pick out your 18650s, you can pick the amperage, the voltage, um, and personally pick how much battery life or say if you're wanting it to hit harder just depending on the style of battery you pick. So at that point you'll have battery life for multiple days compared to possibly a day to a couple days. It can just vary from user to user. Some people hit it more often than others. Um, it just really does vary. So then with like the bigger kits and the smaller kits you'll always have a little bit of accessories such as coils, um, extra o-rings, replacement glass, um, the USB charging cord. These are two little accessories that go with the Aegis Legend kit that we have over here. Um, so it just really depends on the kit what all accessories come with it, but most of them generally come with that basis of variety of accessories. So then the last but not least thing that you can actually do with vapes is there's things that are called RDAs, RBAs, such as rebuildable dripping atomizers, rebuildable atomizers, and at that point, instead of having to just refill a tank with a pre-built coil, you can build your own coil and at the point of building your own coil, you will literally be able to customize how much vapor production, how much flavor you're getting. It really will vary just depending on the style of coil that you personally build. But as you see, when I get this open, it has a little deck in here and you will just put your coil inside those little holes. It's a positive and negative post. And once your coil is screwed in, you'll wick it up with your cotton, juice it up. And at that point, you are good to go. So if you have any questions or want to know anything about vapes, just let us know and we'll do our very best to help you all out. Um, just remember again, my name is Caleb and come check us out at Headhunters.